how you doing? My name is Moog. I like dirty old cars, I'm a crazy dude. I do thrifty mods, do you know how? I search for cheapest and buy it now. So I'm on the Facebook and then I've seen a Turbo Civic that's neon green. I message the owner and I tell him I'll take it. I pay asking price, I'm not here to fake it. I send a tow truck and it goes real fast. Then this thing arrives and I start to laugh. But this isn't a joke, this thing's a wreck. I paid way too much for Mr. VTech. Mr. VTech is the latest. Mr. VTech is a baby. Now I know what you're wondering. Where are the wheels? Gone. Turbo. Gone. Drive shafts? Gone. Credibility? Gone. The stereo? Gone. Fresh air? Gone. The money? In, in the, the bin. bin. So I messed up and now you've heard What's that in the back seat? That's a human turd There's a million ants and salmonella We're gonna take the engine and then we'll sell her My money in the bin I messed up this time Welcome to another episode of Mighty Car Mods. We hope you enjoyed that little song. This here, whoops, he's done it again. Is my new car, everybody. Ah. This here is a car that did the rounds a decade and a half ago. This here is a car known as Mr. VTEC. A trophy winning Honda Civic show car. All the ingredients for a show car. We've got wide body, custom paint, turbos, interiors, stereos, TVs everywhere. You've got everything. There's everything you could need and even more. And it is my intention to bring this car back to its former glory. And it's my intention to not. Um, let's take a little look around the car and show you some of its features. Let's start with the good stuff, uh, which is... Yep, that's good. Quick release. Careful, mate. Let's start with the good stuff. Over here, we've got a B16. Uh, it has been turbocharged, but the turbo is gone, the exhaust is gone, and strangely, inside the cylinders is full of water. Yeah. So that's going to need a rebuild of some kind. The rocker cover's not there. A lot of stuff has been painted. Uh, this car at one stage apparently had like a B18, so a bigger one, an Integra gearbox, and a bunch of other stuff. And at some stage, it went back to a B16. It's got a bit of a, it's actually got a nest. Like in the wiring is not just a rat's nest, there's actually a nest in there. Yeah. And uh, like so many show cars, I, I have a feeling this thing has sat for a long time. And possibly gone through a bunch of different owners who thought that they were going to fix it and yeah. then didn't get around to fixing it. Yep. Uh, there is no front bar, there is no exhaust, there's a muffler there, um, there's a manifold here, but there is nothing else. Why'd you buy it? Um, it's full of insects, because uh, it's great. And because everybody knows I love Honda Civics, I just think they're great. I still don't get why you bought it though. <laughs> Look at it! What do you mean? Look at what? Okay, Help you watching understand. at home, you know why I bought it. Help me. Look at this. Look at the paint, look at the time and effort that's gone into this. Now look, granted, there's a couple of little things that aren't like this door handle here, is, it doesn't handle anymore. Have a look inside. Uh, what I would say is that there is a, um, there is moldy feces in the car. So there's, it's got a, t I'm sorry, it's got a turd in it uh, and it smells like urine. The, 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 the cacophony of stench it's is bad. unlike anything we've ever experienced before on the show. It, Gee, makes, it's bad. it makes the whole room smell. Now, like, it's it? missing, you know, the speakers. Oh, my God. Oh my it's God. intense urine, It's so it? thick. It's like a thick shake of piss just <laughs> dribbling out. It's just <laughs> disgusting. Um, the stereo's gone. Uh, no, <laughs> there's no gear shifter there. But... Screens, look at this, rust. we've got a lot of rust. One, two, oh, three, four. Three, four. Uh. There's <laughs> Put my head oh, in. and there's another, there's another little TV. Over. Oh, and another one in the head. Wait on, we got one, two, three, four, five, five TVs in there. Uh, six TV, there's one, in, there's one, in, oh, there's one in that door as well. Six, seven. <laughs> You'll be uh, happy to know that I, I flushed the, the poo that was on the back seat. Yeah, thank you very that much. That was just, it was too much, man. I couldn't, I couldn't even be in the same room as this thing. Martin, can you pop the back? Um, now, if you look closely, look at this. It just looks bleh. like it's a cool little pattern, but no, bleh. look at that. That is a, a <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> oh, come on, man. No. It's, now, it's back so here strong. is the epicenter of the stench. You know that urinal stench? It's like that, but magnified. Oh, oh it's bad. It's worse it's in bad. there. 
I don't it's know why. Like, look, I don't know why someone's been using it as a toilet. But look, Martin. Oh my God. We've no, got someone all has. these. Someone's been pissing in it, dude. <laughs> I reckon someone. I think you're actually. You've just nailed it. I reckon someone has used it as a toilet. Popped the hatch and just like gone like a urinal. It's literally a urinal. We've got. Oh my God. It's, I can't even get close to it. Probably no one can. All they can see us is ca us carrying on. I know. Like I just. I need. I wish something. you could smell it. Except I also don't want you I to smell it. I just need to. Disgusting. What is this? Oh, is that a tow bar? Oh. No, that's going to be a screamer pipe. What's that? Oh. Power steering. B series power steering. Oh. Junk. Junk. We've junk. also got. Martin, of course, that... you've got to have master control Vegas Glow multicolor LED oh. undercar. Oh. Be gentle with it, for fuck's sake. Why? It's my new car. Okay. Another Yay, screen. another screen, is that a which fuel is pump? pretty cool. What's that? There's, um, what, what else that? have we got? Oh, it's Ma a fuel pump. Can you believe all this stuff came for free with the car? This is, as like, the asking why price included need, all of this. Why does it need this? Now, Martin, look at this. Oh, piss smell. This uh, here. Uh, for the wheels? Yeah, but... Oh. Mondeo. Mondeo, but they're not. Are they? Those? Oh, they're those ones. They're yeah, different got, to the ones that I thought. Two it came out of with, four. By the way. You've got a broken engine mount slash There's pivot some mount. Speakers. We got some super cheap auto What's workshop that? degreaser. Oh, they're your down Thank lights. Thank you very much. Oh, down lights. They're your down lights. And then here are the extra trim pieces. So we are going to go through. We will kind of build the puzzle. Everything that's needed and everything we don't have, uh, we will get a trimmer to come and help us put the whole car back together. <laughs> Build all the pieces that are missing and then go. No, uh, no, don't. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it, man. Stop it. Stop it, man. Stop it. You're going to wreck my car. Stop Give me my it. Hat. Give me my no, hat you're back. being rude now. Now you're being rude. Sorry. Don't, man. Sorry. So, wait. what? Stop it, man. Stop what? It's just, it needs to go in the bin. <laughs> you're, you're, it's trash. Stop it. You're Dude, being this is all a trash. You're being a meme. Everyone, you're be, you're living up to your everyone, own meme. Everyone, everyone putting it knows in the bin. This is so, trash. So anyway, what we're gonna what? Talk to the people. I'm just doing stuff. You keep talking. So what it's we're fine. gonna do is, is we're going to go through with all of the different pieces that we are collecting from this car, and we're going to put it back together. What? Stop it. Stop, Stop what? It, Stop it. There's crap on the floor. Martin, Junk, you don't need any of this. You are, now you're wasting the internet. What? Now you're wasting the internet. <sighs> I help you with your cars. You help me with my car. Come on, man. Dude, we got to at least... One of two dumps in this car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are gonna we are gonna make it run again. We're not gonna be able to get it back to it like its full show car glory, but. We are going to get the engine running, and we're going to... Stop it, Martin! What? I'm helping. <laughs> Martin, don't do it. I'm helping. Don't do it, dude. We're going to pull the engine out. We're going to rebuild it. We're I'm going to find out what went meme. wrong. We're going to get it back in there. And Mr. VTech will live on again. We'll be in the bin. VTeching again. I'm so, telling you, um, this car... Let's go. ...is a complete waste of time. Not originally. Do you want some history? Do you want a bit of history? I actually have some history of this car. No. And I feel it's no. important to share it with the no, people. No, I don't. I no, because we need a no. full perspective no. about what this car was no. and what it is. No. And most importantly, no, no, what it no, isn't. No, 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 no. There's Let's a lot get of it under the hoist. Isn't. Let's get it under the hoist. History lesson first while he does that. No, no, I'm no, I'm going to show no, you something. No. I'm going to put some... No, 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 no. On the hoist, on the hoist. Let's go. Before we begin, I just want to do a disclaimer. If you were the original owner, and builder of this car, I know who that or is. you're in any way involved in it, thank you for all of the work that you've done. For whatever reason, somebody has dumped this car out in a paddock, taking a shit in it, and, and then I have bought it for way too much money. I didn't know it was this bad when I bought it. Look, when you buy something sight unseen, you, you, it's a gamble. This is a gamble that didn't pay off because I'd, I didn't even read everything. I'll be totally honest. I was just like, look photos. at that. It's a sex bet car. Yep. That's awesome. There is a whole lot of, um, there's not a whole lot of, there's a small number of people that like the sex bet scene. Shout out to sex bet revival, memory lane. How you doing? But this here is a car that originally had a lot of time and effort put into it. And I don't want to dis disrespect any of that as we're going through its history and repairing it. So interestingly, I mean, I've searched for a lot of stuff on marketplace, but never urinals. 
but this is what came up for you. And in all fairness, it actually looked good. And I know what you were thinking. You were thinking about Twisted. I was you, thinking about Twisted. I was thinking about Too Sexy. No, I was thinking too sexy about The Green Turd. Too Sexy somewhere in between. And the friggin' one with the roulette in the boot was awesome too. Yeah. This is the worst one ever. And there's no redeeming features. But what did happen, so someone spied, spied this car in the background of another video. And he got in touch. And his name is James. And he said, James... He said, Marty, James, it's good to see my car in your new episode. I built Mr. VTech and it was sad to see it in the state it's in today. Agreed, James, Ag completely. It is, it is sad. If you want to know anything about the car, just let me know. He's now yes, moved to New Zealand. Know. So I said, yeah, man, it looks like whatever, not great. And he, uh, he sent through a bunch of pictures. I said, have you got any photos of it in its heyday? And he just, just a massive photo bomb from when he first started it as like a very basic sort of Honda Civic. And then it ended up in magazines upon magazines. What did it used to look like, man? What it did, used have, to have you got a photo like there of what it used to look like? This. Oh, wow. That's, that's oh, it, look, originally. See, I, I like that. I think that looks great. I think great. that looks excellent. I would have rocked that in 1997. Anyway, and it's also through magazines, and it went through a few iterations, um, and it won a few trophies as well. It had turbos. It had all sorts of cool engine management. It's got all the, uh, the spec list, you know, at least the publishing yeah, of the yeah. magazine. And like it got like an auto salon trophy, right? Auto in, salon. Was that 2007? He, he sent me a picture of his trophy, like, shelf. Oh wow, that's all of its trophy. And he, he got um, a yeah, King of Auto Salon nominee in Brisbane, which is cool, and then also won a whole bunch of trophies uh, the whole way along, which is awesome. Um, and he said the, car, the engine that's in it now is a B16A, and it used to have a B6, uh, B18C with cams and a T4 turbo and big injectors, Honda in Integra gearbox. Um, he did most of the work himself. With the exception of trimming the front seats, a lot of that was done himself. It took him eight years. Well done, On man. an apprentice wage, which is not high. Um, and then did all the other stuff, um, fiberglass, everything for the speakers, the insides had eight different stereos in it the whole time. And uh, yeah, five or six different sets of wheels. Um, and then, yeah, basically sold it once it was sort of finished with it, once those, those days had sort of sunset. And then, yeah, 2008 Auto Salon was kind of the peak of Mr. VTech. We so don't know I want to know what then. happened when it stopped being Mr. VTech and started being Mr. Shit Tech. Mr. Urinal. Like, what happened in between now and then? Yeah, Do you know? know? I'd really like to know. And maybe by the time we find that out, it's going to be running and rolling on streets so, again. Uh, this car can never be registered, by the way. That it was can about, never be I was registered. About to say, just, to, just to temper those expectations, um, obviously... A, a good story ending for this kind of car would be great. It's just missing a turbo. You bolt a turbo on, you do a few things, basically too sexy, what we did with that, yeah. and you get it back on the road. Unfortunately, structural rust and structural damage, which sucks. So yeah. in the A-pillars particularly, there's a whole bunch of rust and uh, looks like accident repair. Yeah. So the chances of actually getting this through an inspection... Never, ever, 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 ever going to happen. ...is basically zero. So, um, um, but yeah. uh, we can... Fix the engine, but we won't. put in a whole lot of time and effort nope. repairing that, Not repair gonna. this as much as we can, get an exhaust for it, get it working again, and drive it around on the track, uh, which I think is time and money well spent. Uh, my friend does not agree, um, but we've, I've costed out basically, I think it's going to be between twenty-five to $35,000 to get it going again. How much did you spend on this buying this? Uh, Martin, I, normally I'm pretty public about that. I don't want to speak about it mainly because I'm embarrassed. Okay. Um, it but was you want to spend twenty five thousand dollars getting this thing working? Sorry, what's that? on top of the twenty five it cost? Wait, what? So I mean, look for fifty or sixty grand. I reckon we can have it on the road again, but not registrable again, just on the track. Like if we drop fifty or sixty grand in total, it'll be great. Can you please help me fix the engine? I hope you remove the engine. Yeah, we'll remove sure. it. Sure. We'll repair I'll it. I hope you remove it. Yep. Thank you. All yep. right, onto the hoist. Let's go, people. Let's do this. Dude, what's the That's oh. not the jacking point, you. Uh. Oh, I was aiming for the. Sorry, get sorry, out sorry. of it, dude. Aiming... Old jacket. Do get it off it, Just you dickhead. It's good. It's good now. It's good now. Jack it off that. Oh, you broke it. I didn't. It's fine. You did break it. Where? We'll go backwards on the jack. So can you just help me spin it around? Do you want to try and put this back in the car? Absolutely. Back in the car? Yeah. In in the car, definitely. Yes, hundred yeah, percent. Cool. It's in the car. It's in the you. car. The car now. You. It was an accident. It what was an doing? accident. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Come on. Dude, just jack I would never disrespect any of your I cars. I didn't disrespect it. It was I an accident. I wouldn't crush your blue you blue turd. You said put it back in the I car. Would... So it's in the car. What? And you, you accidentally broke the window. It's in the car. I'm helping. This is a joke to you. What's a Isn't joke it? to me? No. My car. No. I just want to help you remove the engine. You get the vacuum and you clean all that shit up, boy. Yeah, yeah, sure. 
So this car originally was an Australian delivered Honda Civic CXI. That's kind of like the Povsbeck one. Uh, it was built on the eighth month of 1998. Uh, it was complied and has a modification plate on the 20th of the 1st, 05 by Car Appliance. Here it's got the VIN chassis number and stuff. Uh, these had drum rear brakes, but this one's got discs, so someone's done a conversion on it. Interestingly, even Australian delivered cars have to have a kind of a compliance plate. And this plate here that kind of proves that this car is legal, someone has taken to it with an angle grinder and cut through some of the information. That smells dodgy, let's be honest. You know, like I don't know why you would cut that through, but none of this is gonna stop us from getting this running again. So let's go up and uh, have a look underneath and see what else we can find. Let me just fix this hoist before you go up, mate. Yep, good to go. You f oh. What happened? Did you, did you put your hoist arms on properly? What is wrong with you, man? You need to put them further Don't, in, dude. No. You need to put them further in. Don't touch it. Just put it further in. You can't put it on the body kit, it's not structural. You dickhead. So we're about to have a look under Mr. VTech for the very first time. You can come with us. Uh, what can I tell you? Uh, it's been painted green underneath here. I can't tell you why. And it's been in a paddock mm. for a very, very look long at this. time. Look up here. Whoa. Forever, with no drive shafts in it. Why no drive shafts? Why did someone take them out? So it's got coilovers. No drive shafts, no exhaust. Oh, dude. It's got, um, it's got old school white line coilovers. Does it? Like 90 spec ones, yeah. Like original logo. That's cool. And yeah, someone's done a disc brake conversion, which is good, I guess. Well, the muffler's that'll, rubbish. That'll help us stop this muffler when we're this. speeding What's, along. How did that happen? That's been crushed, hasn't it? Yeah, as it's gone up and down off a tow truck or something. That's like, oh, the reason that hasn't been taken off. That's wedged in there. You can't get it off. You it's, can't get it off. It's been bent, bent back and into itself. And hit something here as well. Yeah, that fuel tank will be completely cactus. A lot of spiders web. Yeah. Look at all this. Look at it. It just gives you an indication of how long this car has been sitting. How does something go from so loved to so neglected? Mm. I mean, serious amount of time and money. Look at that. There's snails. There's all sorts of stuff under here. I, I would be interested to know, but I'm not going to do it because it would be disrespectful. I'm interested to know what's underneath the wide body. Like, I'm interested to see, like, yeah. the condition of the car. Uh, it did have some neons on it at some point, yeah. but these have been broken. So somebody's um, run neons here. And then I guess maybe it's gone up on a forklift or something, and that's, yeah. that's broken these. So. And then on this, yeah, same thing on this side as well. Oh, here we go. No. Martin, what? Nerd, what? You said you want to know what's under the wide body. Yeah. I thought we'd just have a look underneath it. What do you mean? We are looking like underneath it. Like without breaking it, dude. Why? To see what colour it was under there. Uh, there you go. It was like blue. Or green. Is that the original colour? Yeah, look at the bog, dude, and the glue. Wow. Careful of it, because now we've got to repair that. Oh, yeah, no worries. So, no. What? So, uh, yeah, look, we will... Flat. No! What? It's got to sit flat. You all right? Al. Sometimes we make bad choices. Sometimes. Yeah. We're human. Everybody does it. We make bad choices. Things we regret. Things we should have thought about more. Maybe we spent too much money on something. Maybe it was green and it shouldn't have been. Maybe the five people who wrecked this car before us and actually killed it. You know, I'm just trying to ease you into this car's actual fate. There's some good bits and we're going to keep them, dude. We're going to keep the stuff that's usable alive. I fucking know. Yeah, badly. Holy shit. So badly. And it smells like a urinal and a shit, and it's got a shit in it. Like, it's not like you even just sort of stuffed up and, you know, oh, whoops, it's not great or it's not as I expected. Like, it's literally full of human excrement from the front and the back. Number ones and number twos. <laughs> so you know just what? Stop. It's probably got a couple of number threes in it. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Think about how many number threes this has in it. I know. But but listen. And that was its glory days. And here's the thing. People get nostalgic about the glory days. I fully understand. I was there. I was little, but I was there. I get it. I get the effort. I get the work. The problem is it doesn't guarantee survival. Survival takes the consistent effort. Yeah, okay, Darwin. But listen, just because somebody makes a mistake, yeah. it doesn't mean you've got to spend all your time reminding them that they made a mistake. You I'm just not go, reminding you. 
I'm not. You're not reminding. You tried to break the body. You kit said off. I you wonder. You smashed the window. You took that. I said that's like saying I wonder what it would be like to have a donkey nibble on my balls. And then oh, guess what? I bought you a donkey, and here's some maple syrup. You don't have to do that. It's astonishing that this was someone's pride and joy, and now a pile of turd. Both metaphorically and quite literally, if you're unlucky enough to step inside the public toilet, that is the cabin of Mr. VTEC. So Mr. VTEC has a B16 engine, a B16A, very similar to what is in my uh, VTEC modified Mini, which has got a B16B and also Marty's yellow Civic. This here was also in a Del Sol, yeah, is that what they're calling CRX's Del Sol's. And a VTIR, are. so it's like a performance version compared to the D16 that was in the pop spec. This here is worth a lot of money, if it actually works. This one's full of water, mm. and I think it's very unlikely that it works, but the actual value of the car, as far as I'm concerned, is right here. Yeah. So I bought this car for four and a half thousand dollars. I think they're asking like, I don't know, more than that. So it was basically paid double what this engine's worth and you get the car for free. You assumed it worked though, right? I, don't, I was just too excited, man. I was just in the VTEC mist. Yeah. Anyone that owns a Honda knows what it's like when you're in the VTEC mist. You're going way faster than you think you are and you probably should slow down. So best case, this motor comes out, gets stripped down by an engine shop, whatever, and checked and it's not corroded and the bores are fine and everything and you've actually got a good basis to build an engine. Yep. Same with the gearbox. Um, it, originally it said it was an Integra one. Apparently it handled it LSD. I'd say that probably doesn't, but if it does, then we're in luck. Who knows yep. if the box works and isn't also full of water? That's fine. Doesn't yep. matter. That's been sitting there full of oil for that, that amount of time. But, but basically, the project, get like, we can rebuild all of this, make it all work again, get it checked, maybe do a video on that, put it back in, uh, and then get rolling. But the first step is to get it out first. So uh, I've undone the mount here, we've undone the mount there. There's a couple to do at the top. Get that out. Uh, get it to a machine shop, rebuild the whole thing, put it back in, off to do some skids. So um, yeah, let's go, let's bring it down. Good. Cool. While Mr. VTech may have had his times of glory on the podium of auto salon events in days past, unfortunately due to damage and significant neglect, this car won't be legal or economical to register again. But there is value in the B16 engine, which we're running a similar version of in a number of our cars. So we're gonna remove it so we can have it completely rebuilt. Then we're gonna breathe new life into it with a turbocharger. And the heart of Mr. VTech will live on. And simple as that, Mr. VTEX engine is now out of the car. So the B16A has been released from the deathly grip of Mr. VTEX. From the prison. Now we can pull the top off, have a look inside, and then uh, get it all fixed up to go straight back in. Or alternatively, take it apart, look at it, check it. If it's really good, get it machined, get it built, pistons, rods, bearings. I'm talking 300 kilowatt capable motor and put it in our yellow Civic. Not turbocharge it though. And then turbocharge it. Shit, yeah, let's go! Okay, so the engine's out. I've just listed this for sale. Um, We're gonna list it up for $6,900, which I think is representative of still the paint, all the screens, the interior, which for somebody will be worth it. And is a couple of grand more than what I bought it for, yeah. so it means we'll actually make profit, which will be enough money to get the engine rebuilt. Maybe if it had all its windows. I reckon $69. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, $6,900. $69. $69. Dude, we'll give all the money to charity. We'll give it all to charity, $69. Because this it's gonna end up at a scrapyard regardless, man. I reckon it's just 69 bucks. Cool. All right, see what happens. It's lighting up. Um, someone reckons he's gonna be here in 10 minutes. So that's awesome. Um, Isn't that the way it works though? Well, that people go, I'll be there in 10 minutes, and then they're actually never I just, actually turned I just said, oh, these are multi, multi, multi stud wheels. I just said it has to be gone like right now. Otherwise, this thing will just hang around forever. So it's cheap, but you gotta be here right now. And Zadid reckons he's here in 10. So let's and see. And it is see if four actually, and a half grand less than what I paid for. See it. if he actually shows up. Oh, you're doing f oh, no, 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 I love this person. I was surprised how quickly I got a response. I know this to this f of a bastard car f I give you $69. I give you another $500 against the chip, but this has to be the port smashed.
Go zip zero nothing left. Is it okay with you if we use this video on our YouTube? Not YouTube. No, 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 no. no they know me. Yeah, he said he's uh, from the auto salon circuit but around the age, that era but actually as well. Actually, the age kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because he would probably be around our age back then. Then. Yes. Because I'm looking at him going, dude, you're too old for this, but actually no, because he would have been like 30s, 40s, or yeah. around that age, and probably trying to like, I don't know. Most of the guys going to auto slumber in their 20s, so that already would have been a bit out of place. Yeah. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, the thing was, though, he was like, the idea was to pay $69 and have the car gone. So technically he owns it because he did here. pay for it, but the money's going to charity if we basically take it to the records and it's crushed. <laughs> See, I don't know what I'm to do I'm not that now, upset though. because it's like this car's trash. If it was a, a nice car, I'd be, on, like, I'd be like, nah, sorry, can't do it, can't do it. It's savable, you can save it, you can rego it, you can do it. This is trash. See, I'm torn because it seems like a waste, but the car is still here. We have the motor. It's over there. That's the ready to be pulled apart and rebuilt and turbocharged yep. and stuck in the awesome. yellow Civic. Fantastic. Um, which so is good. what's going to happen, let's be honest. Um, but we've now been paid $500, uh, which we will be sending to reachout.com, which is a uh, mental health charity for young Dude, people I'm, and their families. I'm matching it. We're sending a thousand bucks. Are we? Yeah, I'm matching it. I will. I myself, whatever. We should, whatever. We will do it together. Right, we'll do it together. We will do it together. Thousand dollars, one thousand and sixty nine dollars going to reach out. <laughs> uh, you of course can check out reachout.com if you know someone that needs some help or you need some assistance yourself. Yep. Uh, we've been instructed and paid to destroy this car. I'm, it's a done deal. It's for charity. It's paid for. Let's go. Let's just get it there. We'll tow it there. Let's go. I'm like, I don't know. I'm, no, I'm, kind don't, of, I'm not okay with it. Don't think about it. It's it's actually a good thing. The world is not missing out. This has had its run, it had its time, it brought someone a lot of joy. We spoke to the person that built it, he won a shit ton of awards, he's happy, he's happy it's gone, he understands that it's trash. I told him it's trash, he's like, yeah, that makes sense. People have pilfered all sorts of parts out of it, including us. Yeah. And now it goes to meet its maker and gets recycled back into a fridge. I think I'm just stuck with that thing that people go, I could have used it, but if they could have, they should have bought it. They could have. Because it was for sale for Twice. a long time. Twice it was for sale. When we got it and then again today. Yeah. That's the wrecker. That's the record. Hey mate. I bought this car, I paid too much. We tried to fix it, but it's too fu We said we'd sell it and not for much. Then some old guy said he wanted it crushed. Sex pet cars, they were a thing. The drugs they took, they made you ping. The girls were always hanging around. Three big subs, ready to pound. Where are the wheels? Where is the turbo? What's that smell? And where's my money? Where are the girls? Where is the car meat? Why is there a turn on the back seat? Chain your bank account right down Chasing that auto salon crown It'll be worth it in the end When you show your sex back friends The ultimate way to be seen The cover of Hot Force magazine But now there's haters far and wide The sex back scene has truly died Where are the wheels? Where is the turbo? What's that smell? Where's my money? Where are the girls? Where is the car meet? Why is there a turd on the back seat? Where are the wheels? Where is the turbo? What's that smell? Where's my money? Where are the girls? Where is the car meet? Why is there a turd on the Back seat. I know that sex back was a thing, a special automotive sin, but now my money and Mr. VTech are in the bin.